All right, great. This is Calvin Butler. I want to welcome everybody to the 29th session of the RBBS Logistics Where You Learn Training and Consulting Platform. Today is orientation, uh, orientation for our new students who have joined on with us. And today we are getting them acclimated to the back office and how to use the tools and resources. All right, the back office website is rbbstransport.com. That is your website. That is the website that, um, if you are looking to message petition there, it should be there. It's up there already, rbbstransport.com. You want to click on it, you want to click on it. But that is, that is your website. If you do not have a website of your own that you, have, that you want um, to promote, you can use this one. When your um, carriers come here, they're going to see the home page. Um, and I assume you all can see my screen right now, but if carriers are going to see the home page. They're going to see the Who Are We page. This is the only two areas that they can access, okay, home and Who Are We. Uh, when they get to the Who Are We page, it's basically, it's telling you, it's basically giving them information on our national dispatchers network. It's telling them about you all. This website is here to promote you all and not to promote our company because, because remember, you all don't work for us. Okay, we didn't hire you. We don't, the RBBS Logistics Learning Center does not hire anyone. RBBS Logistics Learning Center does not book freight. We teach you how to book freight. We teach you how to build your business. We teach you how to build your network, and we provide with you all your tools and resources and support and networking and everything you need to make that happen. Okay, that's what we do. We are consultants. So when you add a carrier, that carrier is your client. When you add a shipper, that shipper is your client. They do not belong to RBBS. They are not our clients. They are yours. Okay? We're here to help you. You all have hired us to be your consultants, not the other way around. Okay? But this page here tells them all about you all's network, about our, about the National Dispatchers Network. And business says get to know us, fast, friendly, and fully functional. Our network of independent dispatchers are well-renowned throughout the United States when it comes to finding the right freight for your needs. Our team is up for every challenge with the skill and experience our clients have come to expect. We always stand behind our work, with customer satisfaction being our number one priority. Contact us to learn more about our incredible network of dispatchers and how they can help you. Areas of service. Okay, a network of more than 300 independent logistics freight dispatching firms. As of today, we are actually more than 500. We need to update that. I need to update that. I will make sure I get updated in our next website update. Um, if not, I may have to cut, uh, mute you all because we got some inadvertent background noise that's coming in. So let me go ahead and make sure of muting everyone right now so we won't have that background noise. If you have a question, or anything, just unmute yourself, ask a question, or type your question in, okay? All right, back to this. It says that uh, we're more than 500 dispatch firms strong. Um, built by owner-operators, for well, owner-operators, we understand, so, so we understand every carrier is unique in their low pricing needs. Our National Dispatch Network will cater their low search to your pricing requirements. I know what it says there, because you all are set up in the way that we train you all. We don't train you to go out and find you a bunch of loads and get shipping the sauce and you a whole bunch of loads before you even have carriers. And then start just throwing those loads out there for, you know, carriers to decide if they can run them or not. That's not how we operate. I mean, you'll, I mean, you'll starve to death. You'll go broke like that. That's why a lot of freight brokers and dispatchers, they don't make no money. And you got some of us. Who do things the, the the I call it the common sense way. If you're in this to make money, you want to do it the common sense way, right? So I don't know if any of you, you know, or hunters or anything like that, but you know, you can hunt the hard way when you go out there and you just try to find what it is you're looking for, or you can hunt the easy way when you can put stuff out to attract what you were looking for, <laughs> okay, <laughs> and then it come to you, uh, you know. The, the the easiest way and the way that you're going to eat and feed your family, you know, if you're hunting to, to depend to eat on, you want stuff to come to you. You don't want to have to go looking for it. You want to attract stuff to come to you. 
and then you can take care of business and go ahead and get it on your and get it cooked and cleaned and, and get it on your and get it on your family's table so you can feed your family. All right. Here's what this, and that's what we do. Okay. We instead of going out and finding a bunch of loads and then just throwing them out there and then hopefully one of those carriers will 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 say, Okay, I want that load yeah, I mean, you're gonna starve to death that way. The way we train you is to go out and get yourself some carriers. Okay, the first thing we train you to do is to approach carriers and you pitch them our script, which we're going to um, show you in the back office. And then when they come to you and you get them signed up, then you ask them, Mr. Carrier, what do you want? How much money do you need to move your truck? You know, where you like to run? How much weight do you like to carry? What areas you don't like to go into? How many miles you want to run? You get that profile sheet filled out, now you know what the carrier wants, so all you got to do is do what? It's easy. Now, just go find what he wants. As long as you find him what he wants, you know he, there's a 90% there's a chance he's going to run it. Why? Because he told you what he wanted and you went out and found it. See, that, see, that makes sense to me. Okay? And obviously it makes sense. You know, obviously it is sense because I make, I make money. <laughs> you know, book and freight. <laughs> I mean, I, I book about, oh, anywhere from 38, 31 to 51 to 60 loads per month. I don't book a whole lot of freight like I used to because I have a whole, a whole lot of other stuff to do. But I book, I, well, I book on average about between 45 and 55 loads um, per month. And I have about, that I personally dispatch for, I dispatch for about 8 to 10 carriers, me personally. Okay? Um, my dispatch firm dispatches the 317 carriers. But me personally, the ones that I actually you know, Call up myself and dispatch every every week, you know, just about every other day, or those eight to ten. Those are the ones that I uh, book freight for. All right, but um, I personally do. I personally move dispatch about anywhere from forty-five to fifty-one to fifty-five loads per month. Now, that's not a whole lot of freight. That's not moving a whole lot of freight. That's about uh, what eight a week, eight, nine, ten a week at most. You know. And that brings me, for my personal income, what I generate from that, I personally generate about uh, anywhere from nine to fifteen grand. Okay, outside of what my company does, that's what I personally do, hands on myself. Okay, uh, and that's not killing yourself. That that's not. We have some students and ex students who book about three or four loads a day. Not. Not four, five, six, seven, eight a week. They do three, four loads a day. When I was booking freight and it was just me, I was booking 12 to 15 loads a day. Every single day. Except for Saturday and Sunday because I chose not to work on Saturday and Sunday. But that's what I personally booked. When I was booking loads, when it was just me and I didn't have all this other stuff to do, and I was just booking loads. And this system is what helped me to do it. And the system and, the, and, the, and all the stuff in our back office that I'm going to go to show you all. But this is your uh, page here. This is your all's website. You got some nice videos on there so, um, to kind of make the own operators feel good about about coming to your site and stuff like that. And down here is where all of you all are listed. This is the National Dispatchers Network. Okay, the, this is our phone systems, uh, all of our extensions. Uh, we have recruiting, we have training, consulting, we have dispatch numbers. We have several dispatch numbers. Every week, someone tends to always call me. Oh, this is my mom right here. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me talk to my mom real quick and let her know that I have to talk about it. <laughs> hey, mom. I'm doing good. I'm right in the middle with, of of orientation with my new students. Um, so, I'm, so let me call you back, okay? All right. Love you. All right, sorry about that, you all. <laughs> but you know, when mom calls, you gotta pick up the phone, and you gonna hear it. You know when you call, you know, when, you know, when you call her back. Why you didn't pick up the phone? I knew you was home. You know <laughs> that type of stuff. So, so uh, you gotta make sure you that you talk to mom. You know when mom calls. All right, <laughs> but this is where you all are listed at. Um, yeah, uh, you all will be listed here under the independent dispatchers and dispatch firms. Okay. Um, you got my extension on here. You got billing extension, things like that. All right. But this is where you all are listed. You all are the dispatch firms, okay? Each one of you all are independent, okay? 
Um, this is where some of you all are listed here by your personal name, some are listed by their company name. It just depends on how you want to be listed, and you'll get that opportunity to tell us how you want to be listed when you submit your profile sheet for all of your, for your extension and your toll-free numbers and your uh, email address and your uh, eFax line. But these are all of the in individuals who are part of our network, and as you can see, it is a very large and extensive network. All right, it's coming up close to the time where we have to upgrade this network because we upgraded about the middle of the month and we add all the new extensions on here. Uh, if you all get your stuff back into us so we can have y'all's extensions on uh, to you all by Friday, your, your extensions will be in this month upgrade, which, we'll take, which we will take care of this weekend. So, um, but we'll show you all how to submit your extensions, how to submit your profile for your numbers and, and your extensions on, on our, um, on our roster. All right, let's go over here to, um, 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 training and get into the back office. All right, when you all come to access your back office, this is you all's first time. This is your first time getting to the back office. So you all, you all don't have a login. You all do not have a login. You cannot get a login until after you have completed orientation. So, to, so today is, the, is after you finish this orientation uh, today, you all will be able to get on here, click on this, and then create your back office um, um, login, and then we can approve you for your back office access. When you click here where it says Dispatcher Tools and Resources, it's going to take you to that area. When you get to that area, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see the login area. Okay? You all do not have a login. So do not try to log in. What you're going to do is you're going to come here where it says don't have an account, and you're going to click sign up, okay? When you click sign up, do not sign up with Facebook, okay? Because Facebook may not have the email address that you use when you enroll. Very important. When you click here, I'm sorry, when you sign up and you create your username email, because your email address is your username, when you put in the email address, you must, let me repeat, you must use the email address you enrolled into our program with. Whatever email address you use when you page your two ninety nine ninety five, that is the email address you must use. Because if you do not use that email address, you will not be approved to access the back office site. Because that's how our interns verify that you are allowed into the back office. Because remember, the only people who get access to the back office are those members who have first enrolled and secondly passed their basic knowledge quiz. So what happens is when you create this and then you submit it, it goes to a holding phase where our intern, when they look at it, they'll see it, they will run your email address to make sure that you are an enrolled member. Then they will run your name to pull your transcript from your test and see if, in fact, you pass your back office, I'm sorry, you pass your basic knowledge quiz. If you are an enrolled student and you pass your basic knowledge quiz, then they will approve your login. And then you can come back later and you'll get an email letting you know that you have been approved and then you can come back in and then log in. Now, every week we have somebody that tries to log in or create an account by using an email address they did not use when they enrolled. Or we have somebody who tries to create this using their Facebook login when their Facebook page does not have the same email address that they used when they enrolled. Or well, their Facebook page does not have their real name, so it's kind of hard for them to verify that you pass the test when you give us some Facebook name. Okay? So, <laughs> I'm going to say this again. You must use the email address you use when you enroll. Okay? So, don't be that person that does this and then call me up in the middle of the week and say, I'm having problems getting to the back office. <laughs> okay? So, don't be that person. All right? All righty. Okay. Now, let's get on into this. Click over here. Get the little log in. 
Just go on into the back office. Well, when you do get out, access to the back office, here is what you're going to see. You're going to see the first thing you're going to see is contracts and agreements. Let me show you that first. Because this is the most important thing that you all have. Because this carrier dispatch service agreement, this right here, or this broken contract, broken agreement, whatever, whatever. But this carrier dispatch service agreement, that right there is what makes you legal. Okay? I know uh, you all are probably ran into some um, social media uh, DOT uh, legal experts. And a lot of them will tell you, oh, dispatchers are not legal. You're not even supposed to be, uh, supposed to be booking freight. You're not legal. You're not a broker. You're not, this, 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 this. According to the FMCA, the Federal Motors Carrier, um, 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 you know, according to their rules and regulations, you all are not dispatchers, you know. On the ordinance number 379-something, but anyway, you all are not dispatchers. Well, that ordinance does say that only brokers and bona fide agents can dispatch loads to carriers. Now, brokers have to have a bond. But the exception to that is a bona fide agent. That's what you are. Now, what makes you a bona fide agent? A bona fide agent is described as any person or company that acts as a broker but does not have a DOT number or an MC number as long as they have a pre-existing arrangement with the carrier for a continued relationship, you are hereby recognized as a bona fide agent of the carrier, and therefore you can find and book freight for the carrier. Now, as a bona fide agent, you can have as many carriers signed on with you as you can manage. Okay? That's what a dispatch agreement is. This is what makes you legal. That's why we tell you to contact carriers first, pitch them the script, and get them to sign you on as their dispatcher. They are signing an agreement with you. This is your prearranged. This is your uh, uh, um, the this is that agreement that the Federal Motor Carrier is talking about. You have to have a pre-existing agreement in place, a pre-existing relationship, a pre-existing contract with the carrier before you go and find them a load. Okay, a lot of people who dispatch they don't do that. What they do is they just jump on the load boards and they start looking for freight, or they'll call shippers and have shippers start sending them loads, and then they'll just start uh, putting those loads out there, and then carriers will see, oh, I see you got a load. Uh, I want that load. Now, if you do that and you don't have a pre-existing agreement, guess what? You are operating illegally. Okay? Our job is to show you how to do this job legally and make money, and this is how you do it. You have your carrier to sign that carrier dispatch service agreement. When that carrier signs that dispatch agreement, you can have one carrier. You can have 100,000 carriers if you can manage them all. So when your carrier signs your dispatch agreement, now you can do what? You can find them freight. And the reason why we teach you to ask the carrier what they want so you can go specifically and look for what that carrier wants so it keeps you legal. Now, by you doing that, you can show that you have a consistent operation, a mode of operation that shows that you do what? You don't just go out and find loads and just throw them at any and every carrier. What you do is you contact carriers, you sign them up to an agreement, you ask that carrier, Mr. Carrier, what do you want? Or what do you need? That carrier tells you, here's what I want, here's what I need. You go out and you find what that carrier wants and needs, and you all make money. And you can repeat this as many times as you can with as many carriers as you can. And through this process is how we're going to teach you how to make money in this industry, how to build your network. All right. But this is your dispatch agreement. Uh, we're not going to go over where I am going to go because this is very important. This dispatch agreement, when you click on it, you open it up. And let's go ahead and uh, go over this dispatch agreement real quick here for you. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Open Sesame. Okay, here's the dispatch agreement. All right, you notice here at the top, all you got to do is click 
enable the editing, and then that way you can go in and put in your information. In this dispatch agreement, you would have a copy which says dispatcher address, phone number, and email. That is you. Your name or your company name will go up there where it says dispatcher. Where it says address, you do not have to put your entire address. You can just put your city and state if that's what you want. Okay? Phone number. Of course, you got to put a phone number there and email address there. If you happen to get you a carrier that you're trying to contact and get signed up before you get your toll-free number, you're welcome to use your, you know, your cell phone number or your, and your personal email if that's what you want to do. You can do that all the time if you want to do that. But once you get your toll-free numbers and your um, dedicated email address, you can use that also. Um, okay, that top part, you fill out. Everything in this first half of this top section here that is in yellow, that's above this fee line, and here's the fee line here where it says a fee for dispatch services will be 10% of the gross revenue of each shipment with no minimal charge. Everything above that line that's in yellow, your name goes there. Everything below that line that's highlighted in yellow, the carrier fills that out. Below in yellow, you. I'm sorry, above in yellow, you. Again, above in yellow, you. Below in yellow, carry. All right, let's go over there. Dispatch service agreement. I, right. the carrier name goes there. The owner of and or the driver of truck number. The carrier's truck number goes there. Of the carrier license mo of the carrier, a licensed motor carrier, MC number. The MC number goes there. And or DOT number. The DOT number goes there. Hereby grants authorization to you, your name or your company name goes there. Do not put our BBS name there. Our name does not go on this contract. Your name goes on this contract. Why? Well, because this is your carry. If you put our name on it, we're going to take all the money. Because the lawyer is going to say, well, you know, it's got our name on it. Why we ain't getting all the money on it? See, that's how, that's how lawyers think. So don't have me arguing with my lawyers trying to explain why you put our name on your contract. All right? So make sure you put your name on your contract. All right? Authorizes you to act as my agent for the sole purpose of searching for and booking shipments, processing all brokerage paperwork, and obtaining certificates of insurance as required in order to expedite shipments and dispatch via telephone, fax, or email for my truck. Unit number, the carrier's truck number goes there. License plate number, the license plate number goes there. In the state of, whatever state they're in, that they're operating out of goes there. All billing invoicing and collections of revenue from customers, brokers, shippers, consignees, etc., are the sole responsibility of the carrier. If revenue for a shipment or shipments is uncollectible, you, your name and your company name goes there, will be held harmless and no penalty or deductions of fees will be made. The carrier agrees to maintain all proper licenses and permits to conduct business as a motor carrier in the area of intended operations. Additionally, carrier agrees to maintain liability and cargo insurance at the amount set forth by the home state of the carrier. Your name goes there or your company name goes there. We'll be held harmless in the event of any and all claims. The carrier agrees to maintain an account with an internet load board service in the name of the carrier with you, your name, or your company name as the point of contact for dispatching purposes. Okay. That last session there about the load boards. All right. Because you all are members of our network right now, you all enjoy the comfort and the ease and the convenience of us paying for your access to your load boards. We give you access to about several paid load boards and we pay for it and we give you free access to over 91 load boards. So you have access to 100 load boards. And myself and a former student of, of, of mine and a, and a current student of mine, we are working on building our own load board. Not only that, that load board will be something that no one has ever seen before, okay? And it's going to be open to the public for them to join, but they will have to pay a subscription to it. They will have to pay $29.99 or $39.99 per month. You all, because you are students of our nice little platform, you get to access that board for free. You all don't have a subscription. For as long as you are students, you don't have to pay to access that load board. 
which will be the NDN, the National Dispatch Network's load board. Okay? And it would be the first load board of its kind. It would be the first and only one that's out right now of a what's called a um, interactive networking load board. Okay? You all, so this will be the first load board of its kind, so we, we expect it to be very, very, very popular. Okay? Because in our load board, we actually give everyone the opportunity to earn money. In other words, if you come to that load board and you need a load and someone helps you find a load, everyone that comes to that load board agrees to pay a wholesale dispatch fee of 2.5% to any member of the site, any subscriber that helps them find a load or provides them with the load. They are agreeing to pay that member a 2.5% dispatch fee. So that's going to be coming in about three to four weeks. Okay, three to four weeks, that load board will be made operational and that we will launch it and you all will automatically have access to it because you are in our platform. All right? Now, but one day, one day, believe it or not, you all are going to outgrow us. You're going to have yourself about 15, 20 carriers that you're dispatching for about three to four times a week. You all are going to have yourself about five or six shippers who are sending you in on average 1,500 to 3,000 loads a week each. And you're going to learn everything you need to learn. You all are going to be booking about four, five loads a day. You're going to be making great money. And you're going to say, you know what, that old man, Calvin, I don't need him no more. He ain't nothing you can tell me. I, I, I know it all now. <laughs> okay. I don't need me to hold your hand, none of that stuff. You know, you're good to go. All right? When that day comes, and you make that decision, we will help you get set up in, in your own firm and everything. If you need help doing all of we will help you. We actually help you get set up. But we will no longer pay for your access to your low boards. So now you will make your money on your own. You own your own. You got this. You will be able to have to go and get access and pay for your own access to the low boards, including our low board. If you are still a member and you want, if you want to uh, keep access to our low board, you would then have to start paying a subscription to it once you leave the nest, okay? But as long as you're in our consulting platform, and you can stay within our consulting platform for as long as you like, because only you know when you're ready to move on. We're not going to tell you, hey, you're making too much money in the platform, you, you need to go. No, that's not how it works, <laughs> okay? So we're going to let you stay with us for as long as you like, because if you make money, we make money, because you split that dispatch fee, by the way. I'm going to show you all how that works. All right, but when you get to that point where you got to get your own load board, this clause here, in your service agreement allows you to get your carriers to pay for your low board. Why? Because you are a bona fide agent of the carrier and your job is to what? Find the carrier load so therefore the carrier is responsible for paying for your access to low board and you can do it and save the carrier money too. Why? Because you may, because hopefully you, you have multiple carriers. Okay, let's say you got yourself 20 carriers. Each one of them are paying, uh, you got yourself 20 carriers. And you can call them and say, hey, Mr. Carrier, all my carriers, let's have a conference call. Or you send them out a bit blast, an email blast, and you let them know that you can get access to the DAP load board, which is $299 per month. Very expensive load board. But that load board has some very nice freight on it. Everybody knows that that is synonymous with high and freight. So you can call your carriers up and say, hey, I can get you all access to the DAP load board with the highest you know, uh, um, uh, membership that they offer for only $29, $29.99 per month. Now, these carriers know that that is very expensive. And when you call them up and say you can get them access for $29.99 a month, the $299 membership, they're going to want to know, okay, yeah, let's talk. You say, all right, great, here's what I need you all to do. I need each of you to pay $29.99 a month. I'm going to bill you all that $29.99. Okay? And you all pay that. And then I will use one of your DOT numbers and authority to get onto that. I will let that know that I am dispatching for you, and you have authorized me to come onto the load board and find you off and find you freight. That will call you up. That particular carrier, whosever DOT number you're using, that is going to call you up and ask you, "Am I authorized?" That will make that phone call. That will say, "Is this person authorized?" 
to maintain this load board for you. And you would say, and, and you would tell your carrier, say, yes, your name or your company name is the our bona fide agent, and they are authorized to maintain our load board. And now you have access to that load board, and you're paying the two ninety nine, but all the carriers are paying you what twenty nine ninety nine per month, which equals up to about six hundred to eight hundred bucks, I think. So that's a pretty good little, you know, extra money that you can have on the top, and you and that is operating expense. You can use that to get access to the load boards and other stuff, or you can just use that just for operational expense income. How do you want to do it? Okay, but you can do that, and that is perfectly legal, and that is why we have that written the way it is. All right. The fee for dispatch service will be 10% of the gross revenue of each shipment with no minimum charge. As loads are picked up and amounts equal to the above stated percentage will be payable to you, your name, your company name. Please don't put Calvin Butler there. Don't put RBBS Transport there. Don't put the RBBS Logistics London Center. Don't put RBBS LLC there. Don't put RBBS there. Okay? That is payable to you because this is your carrier. Okay, this is your agreement, your contract. However, payments are to be conveniently paid with any debit or credit card via text or email invoice app processed by the RBBS LLC invoice process. Okay, we are the ones who invoice your carrier. We collect it and we process it. Why? Because that's how our corporate mandate says that we have to operate our corporate resolution. We are back. Our company was, was put together, and we're backed by investors. In the time, uh, 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 the federal, um, federal Exchange Commission says, the, the FCC, um, um, the Securities, um, um, the SEC, the Securities Exchange Commission, that is the uh, federal agency and the uh, law enforcement body that governs all corporations in the United States. And when you, and the way you, and the way you, they get jurisdiction over you is any time you accept funds to start your business, and those funds are have um, those funds are greater than five thousand dollars. So if you receive investment funds for more than five thousand dollars on any or multiple investments, or one investment, whatever the case may be, you fall under the jurisdiction of the SEC. Okay? Um, and the SEC says that you have to submit a corporate resolution. And you have to follow that mandate of that corporate resolution. Okay? And that means that all of your money has to have a paper trail. Anything that comes into your company must be accounted for. Anything that goes out of your company must be accounted for. Why? Because you are using investors' money. You're playing with other people's money. Our company has our investors, and they invested um, upward $252,000 into our firm to get us up, up and going. How, and that's how this is ran. Okay, I went out and got me some investors, pitched my idea to some, you know, uh, to some business men and prominent businesses here in the Tallahassee area and, and here in Florida, and that's what I came up with. One of them is a law firm that. Put in more than two hundred thousand dollars of their own money, so they own the the lion's share, other than myself, of this company. So there are certain things that we have to do, and we have to do them by uh, by the steps because that's what our corporate resolution says we have to do. And if you violate your corporate resolution and you're using the investor money, the SEC can charge you with a federal crime, five years in prison for each infraction in federal prison for each infraction and a two hundred fifty thousand dollar fine for each infraction. Okay? So we do things the way we do it because we are bound by law to do so. Okay? So <laughs> uh but anyway, we send out your carriers that um the invoice. They click on it and they pay with a debit or credit card. We do not accept anything other than debit or credit card. Why? Because that creates the perfect what? Paper trail. Okay, we have a paper trail, and we have a step-by-step -step process, and all money is accounted for. Okay, that's why we do it that way. Now, when we uh, send that out, we do not accept, you know, uh, checks in the mail or anything like that. This is how we do it. That's why it's in the contract, so your carriers know this going into it. All right? And notice down here it said, please provide your SMS cell phone number, text number here. Your carrier 
I'm providing that, not you. And your email here, the carrier puts their email there. So the carrier puts their cell phone number and their email there because this is where we text and email the invoice to when we're trying to collect your money for you. Okay? You send them a text and an email, and all they have to do is click on it, and they pay with a debit or credit card. That money hits our square cash account. Then we turn around. When it hits our square cash account, we turn around, we split that money in half, and we see you your half of it immediately. So when the money comes into our account, it is immediately sent out to you before we even deposit the money into our bank account. Okay? That is how it works. Hold on. Someone is calling, and it's a student, and I know they know better. Uh, hold on a second here. This is Calvin, the RBBS Logistics Learning Center. I'm right in the middle of orientation for our new students every Monday at 5.30 to about 6.30 to 7 o'clock. Okay? Give me a call back in about half hour. All right. Sorry about that, you all. Okay. But um, then we turn around and we send you your half out. So this is how you earn money. This is how you pay us for our services. You get 5% of the low fee, and we get 5% of the low fee. That's why we have a 10% low fee in there on your dispatch agreement. Because half of that is yours, and half of that is ours. And that relationship continues until you decide you're ready to do what? Leave our platform. When you leave our platform, you then get the whole 10%, but you no longer have the access to our platform um, um, like you did when you were uh, within our platform. So you don't have access to all our tools and resources and the things that you enjoy when you're with us. Okay? So that's how that works. And of course they sign it, you saw sign it, you gotta put that in that company name, signature and everything then your name, the company name goes down here, which is dispatcher, and then you send it off you sell, they sign it, you sign it, and then you are now legal. That's what makes you legal. Alright? Any questions on the dispatch agreement and how it makes you legal? Any questions on the dispatch agreement before we move on real quickly? All right. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Oh, by the way, the way that we pay you, we send you a uh, text and an email. The same way we received it, we send you a square cash payment voucher by text and by email. You click on it and you deposit your funds onto your square cash account that you can download for free in your phone app store. Everybody with a phone right now, go to your phone app store and download the Cash app. Look for Square Cash or the Cash app and download it onto your phone. Okay? If you all don't know how to do that, I will send you all the link to the Cash app uh, at the end of this uh, of this orientation. Okay? But you can do that. Download the Cash app, and then you can also order if you choose to the free Square Cash debit card. So when we send you your money, you can either, either have it deposited directly into your bank account. So that's the account you're going to attach to your Square Cash app once you get it downloaded. Or you're going to have it put in, you're going to, you're going to cash it out right to your Square Cash debit card. Well, you can use it like any other credit or debit card. Okay? This is how we pay you. This is how we get paid. Everything has a paper trail. Okay? It creates a paper trail for everything. That's why we do it the way we do it. All right. If you are a broker, you will use this form right here. I'm not going to go over it because it's got too much legal jargon in it. It's too big. It's too much to read. And frankly, I get a headache when I'm looking at legal jargon. But if you are a bona fide broker with a bond and all that type of stuff, you have to use the broker carrier contract. That's what you will use to sign up your carriers. Okay? If you're not a bona fide broker, do not use this agreement. Do not use that one. You will be using the carrier dispatch agreement. Okay? 99.9% of you all use the carrier dispatch agreement. All right. Tools and resources. All right. When you come down here, you all can access every shipper in the United States. We pay for that. You all don't have to pay for any list of shippers or anything like that. We pay for that. So I think you're going to click where it says search shippers. You click on that bad boy right there. It's going to take you over to the federal government sick code site. If you don't know what sick codes are, sick codes is how the federal government categorizes and databases every business in the United States that pays taxes, okay? So every legal shipper is in this zip code site, and it is maintained by the federal government so that you know that they are always up to date, and you're never going to click on here and get a shipper who is no longer in business. Why? Because the federal government maintains that site and is kept up to date by all people 
who have this type of business that pays taxes. So when you're looking for a shipper, come in and you put in what you want to. All right, somebody talk to me and tell me what they want to look for. Uh, it can be lumber. It can be electronics. It can be peanuts. It can be rubber, shoes. I don't care what it is. It can be bicycles. I don't care. Tell me what you want to look for, and let's look for some mom shippers. And I'm going to show you how this works. Somebody talk to me. Don't be scared. Somebody unmute yourself and tell me what you want. And tell me what you want to look for. Y'all know how to unmute your button? Well, if y'all don't tell me now, I'm going to pick on somebody. <laughs> All right, so y'all don't want to talk. Oh, there we go. I hope Can I look at oh, Is this Calandra? This is Chandra. Oh, Chandra, okay, I was just about to click on yours, too. I <laughs> took <laughs> your word. All right, so what you want to find? Let's look up, um, I want to look at something in the food industry. So what would that be? How about food? <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'll show you how simple this site is. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's, it's real simple to use. Okay, here we go. Uh, real simple to use. If you want to look up refrigerated food, you can look up refrigerated food. If you want to look up ice cream, ice cream. If you want to look up frozen food, put in frozen food. If you want to look up meat, just put in meat. Just what you, you do. It, it, can you look up stuff like organic food too? Is that that detailed yeah, you, or is it? Yeah, you, yeah. You can type anything you want to type in. It's gonna find. Oh, okay. It. But we put in food and look what happens. Okay. Uh, food is a big category, so you've got uh, literally thousands, thousands of of, of carriers in, that ship food. In this one category alone, with food, um, meat, and processing equipment, that's 1,858 shippers. Food brokers, 604 shippers. You know, so you see how all these, here's 7,000 shippers down here for food processing systems. No, for food products, just food products. Um, if you're looking for something, what you say, like organic? Mm hmm. Uh, Bakery snack, rebuilt, home guards, freezing, food crops grown under cover, <laughs> all kind of stuff, the extracts, colors, freezing. Uh, yes. All we got to do is go back and put in organic. Organic food. Put in organic food. Look at that. And ask and you shall receive. There are 274 food products wholesale, natural, and organic. Mm. Okay? 274 right. companies that ship that, and there are 173 companies that ship food products wholesale, organic, and diet. So Excellent. what we do is we, we just click on one of those, right? Click on mm -hmm. one of those, and look at There it is. It pulls up all those companies. Click one to start at the top. Might as well start there. Click that one. Look what it does. Gives you the name of that company. Gives you their address. Gives you their phone number. Their toll free number. It gives you their fax number. Gives you their website. Contact this um, carrier or shipper. You can contact them by email or just right there. Gives you a profile of the company. Tells you what they ship. What kind of products they have. All right. Come down here. Interesting little tool here. And this is on every. This is on every one of everything you search for. When you click here, it is going to tell you what they pay to ship to what they pay carriers to move their product from their location to anywhere in the United States. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get a better comprehensive um, lead source than the one that we pay for and the one that we provide for you all. Okay, if you all were taking this class and taking a class. Taking A class anywhere else. When you finish with all that stuff and paying all that money, then you got to pay for leads. Okay, if you're paying for ten thousand leads, they probably ask you for about anywhere from three to five hundred dollars. What is what leads? You know, uh, is that you pay for leads? If you work with anybody else, we don't want you all to do that. Half the leads you get from them, they won't even be active leads. They'll be companies that are out of business. <laughs> you know, so I mean, that's a racket. So we do want you all to be able to come over here and find freight and book freight as quick as possible. Why? Because we make money when you make money. Mm -hmm. You understand? So we try to provide you all with the best of everything when it comes to your tools and resources. This is why we're giving you the sick code site. 
But as you can see, he has a ship here, the, um, their organic food products to Idaho. They are paying $130 a pallet. For a partial flatbed, they are paying $1,350. For a three-foot drive-in, they are paying $2,350. No, $2,550. Take that back. And for a 48-foot flatbed with tarps, they are paying $3,200. So uh, they pay some good money to move that stuff down to Idaho. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, uh, but this is what you all have. So you have what you need to contact this shipper, right, and to formulate your approach to them. And do what? Hey, Mr. Shipper, how you doing? My name is so and so and so and so. I'm with the National Network of Dispatchers, and we are over 500 dispatch firms strong, spread out across the United States, all with thousands, access to thousands of carriers each who are experienced carriers in moving your type of freight. <laughs> okay? So this is your, these are the pitches that you all will learn from us as you're going through our program. Okay, um, don't be scared to call these people up and talk to them. I mean, they're people, man. You just gotta, if you approach them, you know, being normal and you approach them with the attitude like, hey, you know, like, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, say your thing. And, 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 and in fact, you aren't. Because you call up these shippers and you're offering a service to them. And you say, look, and the great thing about our service is this, you know, I'm looking at your products and I'm confident that we can assist you in moving 25 to 35% more of your freight each and every day. And since I am a bona fide agent of our carriers, and all of us are bona fide agents of our carriers, we are paid by our carriers. So this is not costing you any extra money whatsoever. Makes it kind of easy to sign up, don't it? <laughs> that sounds easy, yeah. <laughs> it is when you, when you know what to say and how to say it in the right way. Exactly, see, yes. So see, look, this is sales. Everything is sales. I'm not going to get into training right now, but this is sales. Make no mistake about it. This is not so much logistics or, or trucking or anything like that. This is the sales. You've got to learn how to be a salesperson. Okay? That's what this is. But we, but we give you all the tools, resources, support, everything you need to do that. And we even, we even teach you how to be a salesperson. We even tell you what to say. Why? Because, like I said, we even tell you what to say. Not only do we tell you where to go to find stuff, but we tell you exactly what to say. Because we have what's called a script. Look at there. We even got a script here for you all to send out to the shippers and carriers and stuff. When you want to send a script out to your shippers, if you don't know what to say or if you're nervous talking to shippers, just copy and paste this and send it to them the night before. Then you got something to break the ice and call them up and talk to them about. Why should you partner with a member of the RBBS National Network of Dispatchers? The network utilizes the most advanced technology in the industry to service our customers. We've integrated the CNTMS transportation management system and logistics software in all, i got to change that too, 500 plus active independent dispatch firms from teaching position positions throughout the United States to adequately service all major shipping lanes. Now, I'm not going to read all that because that's too much. Uh, that's, that, it talks like that to the whole thing. But basically what it's doing is it pushes the hot buttons of shippers. That's what this does. It pushes their hot buttons. It gets them excited for that phone call that you're going to make to them that next morning. So you're probably going to copy and paste this and send this out to them that night before. So when you call them up, they already know that you got the right type of technology, you're in the right type of network and everything. Now you just got to do what? Talk to them about moving 25 to 35% more of their freight and how we are qualified and how we have more dispatchers connected across the United States. Come on. And it's all a free service to them. Ah! Okay, so we, we we try to aid you and assist you as best we can. Now I'm, now, I'm, now I'm gonna be honest with you. This is the hardest part of you all's job. This is the hardest part of what you're gonna do. Is contact this shipper because shippers are funny people. They're very very busy all 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 the time. Okay, so when you contact them, they're always in a hurry. They don't have much time to talk to you. They try to pass you off on somebody who can't make a decision. This is the hardest part of your job. But let me tell you something. You don't need them to make money. Ah, y'all don't believe that, do you? You don't need them to make money. You need carriers to make money and access to loads, not necessarily the shippers. Those you are dispatchers and not brokers, okay? All right, but this is what you have here. Um, if you want to contact shippers, you don't know what to say to them. Um, we also have a um, script here for auto haulers and things like that. Go through those, look over those. I'm not going to go over those right now. We will be here all night. Okay, 
All right, the, search, the same search site, the sick code site, where you can search shippers, you can also search brokers. Okay, click on it, it takes you directly to the brokers. All you got to do is just start searching for them. It's already on the brokers list. Click on here on one of the in the brokers, it tells you what they what the normal rates are for you know for types of loads and this and that and got the numbers and stuff on here just like it does with the shippers. Okay, uh, all right, bye 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 bye. All right, make sure you all go out here, make sure you look over. How much money do you need in order to move your truck? How much do you need to move your truck? That is our pitch. Learn that. If you want to see it in action, the last training session we did, which was Saturday, which we recorded and is on our YouTube channel, we went over that pitch. We role-played that pitch and went it from start to finish. Please, please, please go back and watch. If, if you don't watch anything else, watch that last training session we had this past Saturday, which is number... 35, I think, yeah, number 35. <laughs> Remember why you learn print book and training number 35, Roman number 35, because we went over everything step by step. We went over the dispatch agreements. We went over um, uh, a role, role played on, on how to pitch your carry, how to get them signed up, how to do your follow-up two days later with a more aggressive pitch. We did that. We role played that. We also... Um, um, went over your workflow, how to get a load from beginning to paid on, all the steps in between. We went over that extensively. Make sure you review that, okay? But this is your pitch. How much money do you need to move your truck? This is this is how you sell the carriers or getting them to sign up with you. If you if you execute this pitch properly, there's not anything a carrier can say to you in objection because you are able to overcome it with this pitch. Just from the first question you ask them, hey, Mr. Kerry, how you doing? Let me ask you a question. How much money do you need to move your truck? Hey, Mr. Kerry, I see you down there moving out of Yeah, man, and why are you calling me? I'm sorry for bothering. I just want to ask you a question. How much money do you need to move your truck? Hey, Mr. Kerry, how you, no matter how you, no matter what your conversation is or how you started off, working around to how much money do you need to move your truck? And they're going to answer you one or two ways. They're going to say one or two things. They're going to say, I need, or they're going to say, what the hell are you talking about? Either way, it feeds into your pitch. If they say, what the hell are you talking about? Like I said, my name is Dory, and I'm with the National Network of Dispatchers, and we understand that not every carrier can move their truck for the same amount of money. Because you have expenses that only you have. Okay? So your truck expenses are not someone else's truck expenses. So therefore, when we ask you how much money do you, you need to move your truck, what we're asking you is how much money do you need to be profitable, cents per mile. If you tell me you need $2 per mile to be profitable, guess what? I'm only going to look for those that's paying more than $2 per mile. If you tell me you want to, well, what about my fuel uh, surcharge? If fuel surcharge is 3%, guess what? We're going to add 3 cents on that dollar. I'm going to look for two, two, 223 a mile. If you tell me, well, you know, I have to pay my carrier you 20%, guess what? We're going to add that 20 percent onto that, we're going to add another 20 cents onto it, now we're going to look for what, $2.23 per mile. If you tell me I want to, well, what about your fee? Well, I charge 10 percent, so guess what, we're going to charge, a, we're going to add another 15 to 20 percent cents onto that to cover my fee and then some. So now I'm looking for three dollars and what? I'm looking for $2.33 per mile. Okay, well what about well, what about the factory company? I owe them five cents. I owe them five percent. We just add another five cents. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm now looking for you loads that are paying two dollars and thirty-five cents to two dollars and forty cents per mile. Nothing less than that. And if you also tell me, well, I don't want to run up in the mountains. Guess what? I'm going to look for loads on the bottom half of the United States. If you tell me you want to run loads. That's running more than 400, 500 miles. Guess what? I'm not going to look for loads that's under 500 miles. I'm going to look for loads that's running over 500 miles. Therefore, you know when you see my number, your call ID, you know I got the kind of loads you want, going to the places you want to go, paying the kind of money you need to get paid. How does that work for you? That is your pitch. I don't care what they come back with. Your pitch covers it. I don't care what they come back with. Only thing they can come back with that will cause me to hang up the phone is, you know what? I'm just pretending. I really don't want to make no money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, good luck to you. You have a nice day. But other than that, whatever they come back with, I'm going to go back to the pitch. So it covers everything. All right? 
So, you know, and, and, and when you give people exactly what they're looking for, exactly what they ask for, I mean, it's kind of hard for them to say no to you. All right? But go back and watch that video, and you all will get a much clearer understanding of how to use that pitch uh, when you all finish with, with the orientation here. All right? But that is your, this is a copy of it that you can copy and paste and, and, and send to carriers. Once you get the information, you can send this to them. And, or you can put this in your email blast or your promotional material or stuff like that. So you can actually send that pitch out. But it has a place in it for you. Uh, when you see Charles Monday, you just replace his information with your information. That's all you got to do. Okay? All right. Let's get back over here. Also, I need you all to go over the workflow. This is the workflow of dispatching. Okay? This is a step-by-step -step, uh, process of how to get a load from start to dispatch when you first dispatch load to getting paid on it. These are all your steps. This is what you need to follow. Go back and watch the video. Watch our training session from last week because we go over this step by step because there's a few variations that's a little bit different, but watch it, learn it, watch it three or four times if you have to. Watch this, learn this, learn this because if you don't follow this procedure, you may not get paid. If you send this anywhere other than dispatch at rbbstransport.com, you will not get paid. Okay? Because I don't process that. I don't process um, payments. I don't process invoice. I don't set up you all's profile. That is all done by our intern, and they only have one email address that they operate out of, and that is dispatch at rbbstransport.com. Okay? So we, we just just remember that. You got to use that that email address. All right? So go over there and read, learn it. All right, there's a copy of it. Stick it up on your wall somewhere next to your desk you know, in your home office. All right, this is our group email. All right, this email address is for all of you all. Do not change the login. Do not change the password. This email address, when you log into it, is where shippers send in loads. We used to send loads out to everybody every day, but our network is growing so fast, we couldn't keep up. I'm not going to lie to you. So we created a group email. Shippers send loads into this email, okay? Brokers send loads into this email. Other students put loads onto this email. You all can use this email to uh, access the loads that are being sent into us, and you can send the information out for, from this email. If you want to send someone a dispatch agreement from this email, you can do so and have them send it back to you. Attention your name. That's all you got to do. Attention your company name. So this group email is there for you all. Okay? Check it periodically because business comes in on this email. Sometimes carriers will come and post their truck or the email say, I've got 300 trucks and I need loads for them and here's the location. So you have to check that email, you know, often to, because that's where you all get your business from. Alright? Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Uh, tools and resources over here. You have an introductory um, ebook that Charles Mundy, one of our former students, he put together. If you, if you are a fresh, brand new to the business, you're going to need to know what the lingo is and what stuff means, what's a, you know, reefer, what's a flatbed, what's a gooseneck, what's a step deck, what's a low boy, uh, you know, all that type of stuff. There's a whole bunch of terms in like a different language, really. But Charles Money has put together a, um, a, um, a, 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 an ebook uh, that is an introductory ebook and it gives you all of the other terms and tells you what everything means, all that type of stuff. He is running a special this week. If you all want to contact him once you're in the back office, you can contact him and whatnot. And um, uh, you can contact him and whatnot. And once you're in the back office, you can click on this and you can download his ebook. It's twenty nine ninety five. He does have a special though. Go go to his website because he's running a special until Saturday. Where if you order his 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 advanced copy, his advanced um um um, um edition will go through steps, scripts, and everything else. Uh, and it, you know the whole nine yards, how to you know do, go from this to this is is based on our platform and and what we teach and what we consult. And I got with him and helped him develop that ebook. So, but that but that is his ebook. I don't get in I don't get in part of the funds from it or anything like that. But because he's a former student, I I'll give y'all access to it because it is useful. It does help you all out if you choose to get it. If you don't want to get it, don't get it. But he's offering a special this weekend. I think he said it's, it's, I think he put it out there that it's like, um, the one that he has is $35 something like that. You get both for, 
but for that one price now. So you get um, two for one. Anyway, that's on you if you want to do it. If you don't, don't. All right. Um, low board access. These are all the low boards that we give you access to. Over here, everything, we give you access to 901 free load boards. You click on that, and you can click on it, and it'll take you over to the uh, area where you can access all 901 free, these all free load boards. Um, actually, some of them are actually kind of good. So um, you got you got a few in here that are actually that are actually great. Some are most of them are so so or just average, and then the rest of you got about you know about 20 percent of them that's not worth anything. But they're free low boards. Okay, you can find some good freight on some of these low boards. All right, uh, we give you access to paid low boards, uh, like different low boards that we give you access to. Uh, you can click on these and get you access to some of these paid low boards and things like that. Uh, log in. Do not change the logins on any of these low board access. Don't change the username. Don't change the login. Okay, so these are some of these are, are are given to us by students. Okay, so um, do not change the login to these low boards. Like here's some here you can go ahead and just click on the state and pull up the loads that are in that particular state. See how easy it is to use. All right, so you have access to you know you have to, we, we give you access to plenty of loads. All right, so so uh, that you don't have to worry about. All right, but those are are your are your low boards. Uh, you go in here and just click on the ones you want to get at, once you want to access. The username and password is all there for you, and everything is there for you too. Um, so have some some hot shot low boards and things, hot shot carriers and stuff that you can access um, loads for hot shots and things like that. If you have some hot shot carriers that you signed on. But those are your access to all of your load boards. Okay, all right, all right. That that pretty much does it for the operate for the um, tools and resources page. But this is your tools and resources page. Remember, when you submit your thing for this, do not send an email address that is not the same as the one as, as that you um, 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 um you enroll with. All right, we're gonna switch over and go over here, go over here to Facebook. At this time, I want everybody to send me. A instant message on Facebook. If you do not have Facebook, sign up for Facebook. It's free. Okay, I know a lot of you say, well, I don't do Facebook. Well, you want to make money, you're going to have to start doing doing Facebook. All right, because we, cause our chat group is most, is on Facebook, and we make a lot of money on Facebook. So guess what? Get yourself a Facebook page. When you get your Facebook page, you're going to look for this person, this little ugly mug right here. That ugly guy right there with the purple shirt looking like a big Barney. Okay, like a, like a big dark, uh, uh, like a, <laughs> you know, like, like a dark version of Barney. That's me in the purple shirt with the white vest. Look for him, Calvin Butler, RBBS Logistics Training. You are going to send me a personal message. You do not have to send me a friend request, but please send me a personal message. In that personal message, you will say, hi, I just finished orientation. My... Enrollment email address is, and my real name is. Please add me to the chat group, and I will add you to the chat group. And this is our chat group. This is what you will get access to. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And we will add you to this chat group right here. And you see how active our chat group is. There is nothing, I repeat, nothing like our chat group on the Internet anywhere. Okay, this is probably the most valuable resource that we can provide to you all. It's our networking resource. Okay, because this is where you all get 24 hours, seven days a week help from people just like yourself. You're helping each other. You're talking to each other. You are helping each other to find loads. You're providing loads to each other. You're providing trucks to each other. You're, I mean, you're sharing our information. You're helping each other make money. It doesn't get any better than this. When I tell you this chat group is awesome. This chat group is awesome. We support each other. You know, I mean, eh, I don't know what else to tell you. you know, if, you're, if you're looking for a place where everyone helps each other make money, then you find the right one. Okay? So, but this is what we do in our chat group. This chat group is a private business chat group. I do not, let me repeat, and, and make sure y'all hear me and you understand me. No rumors. Gossip, you know, on this chat group, 
If it has nothing to do with the logistics industry, I do not want to see it in this chat group. If you have a personal gripe with someone, I don't want to see it carried out on this chat group. If you have a, a disagreement or a gripe with our platform, don't put it in the chat group. If you got something you want to say to me, you say it to me personally, or you come to my private message center and you send it to me, and we will hash it out. But if it hits that chat group, I'm telling you, you're not going to win that one. You are not going to win that one. You're going to wind up getting suspended from the chat group for a period of time. If it persists, you're going to get kicked out of our platform. Okay? We've done it before. Okay? Can you repeat what you want us to do right in the message? In the message, just basically state, I know this is so and so and so. I just I completed. Know. I just completed orientation. Here is my email address um, that I enroll with, and my real name is. Please add me to the chat group. Just look out. So give me all the information. You know of who you are. That you complete the orientation. Give me the email address so we can verify, and then we will add you to the chat group. Okay. All right. Um, Keep all your messages in the chat chat group pertains to helping someone or look or trying to help yourself and find the load. If you have a question about something about you know training, ask that, ask anything you want to ask in the chat group as long as it's pertaining to what we do. Okay? Now don't don't get off in our chat group talking about, you know, basketball wives and the NBA basketball finals and, and who's better, LeBron James or 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 Crystal Pete. You know, uh, I don't want to hear all that. We don't need all that in our chat group. Okay? So just make sure we keep it on, on subject and keep it positive. I don't want any negativity in this chat group. I don't want to see any negative chat. And if you think you're going to slide something by me, let me, let me tell you something. We monitor this chat group 24 hours, three, seven days a week. I don't do it all the time, but I got it right here on my phone where it beats me every time. See, see all that right there? That's the chat group. It constantly giving me updates on and it's beeping all the time. These are all the conversations in the chat group. I follow it. Like, I really do follow the Twitter follow six, seven days a week, except for when I'm asleep. And not only me, but remember, a law firm owns the lion's share of our company. They have interns and they have paralegals. And they have access to our chat group and all my Facebook posts and everything we do on social media. Why? Because they are protecting their interests. And if they see us post something or do something that doesn't quite jive legally or it puts us in a bad light, they have one of their paralegals to call me or hit me up on Facebook or hit me up on a message or text me and say, hey, I need you to check this out. Uh, you need to get that off, off the, off of, um, you need to change that post. That's not quite legal. You can't say that. Or I need you to do this to this. Or I need you to, I need you to change that to this. Or there's a conversation going on in the chat group. It's, it, it, it was started by such and such and such. I need you to, you know, to correct that, delete that, uh, let them know that they can't post stuff like that, or whatever the case may be. So from time to time, you all will see me chime in on the chat group and correct stuff, or you'll get a call from me on Facebook and say, hey, how you doing? I noticed you posted this in the chat group. Uh, we need to take that off. I, I'm going to delete it. Matter of fact, by the time I call you, I, we have already deleted it. Then I will explain to you why it was deleted and what's the legal reason for why we had to delete it, or why, or what's the reason that the um, that made our investors uncomfortable with that being there? You understand what I'm saying? So this is how we operate. All right. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. But if you but do that when you send that over to me, I will send uh, when you send me over your chat group request to join the chat group. When I add you to the chat group, I also going to send you a. I'm going to send you a um, 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 a profile, your setup profile form, okay? And that form looks like, what does that form look like? That form looks like this. This is that form right here, okay? I'm going to send you this congratulations, welcome to the RBBS National Dispatch Network form. Now, I need everybody to pay close attention to me. Okay, I'm going to mute everybody because I want y'all to hear me on this. I want, I'm going to re-mute everybody. When I send you this request form, if you send this back to any place other than dispatch at rbbstransport.com, it will not get done. Okay? Let me repeat that. 
If you send this to any place else other than dispatch at RBBS Transport, it will not get done. From here on out, everything you send us with the exception of a referral, if you're sending us a referral to our platform, that goes to our training site, to our training e email. But anything else you need to send in to get uh, anything, anything that you need to get um, 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 processed, uh, any loads you need to get processed, your your profile changes, anything like that, it's all got to go to dispatch at rbbstransport.com. It's all got to go to this email address. If it is not sent to this email address, it will not get done. I'm telling you that right now. Okay? Also, when you send in your profile request for your profile, our intern, they are going to process it, and they will send them back out to you on Friday. You will not get them back before Friday, okay, because they have a ton of other stuff to do. They have loads to process. They are talking with people calling in on cold calls. They are processing new, new clients, everything. So they get them all done at one time, and they send them all out at one time on Friday. When you get them on Friday? Between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. So please don't call me on Wednesday or don't call me on Thursday or send me an email on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday asking me where's your toll-free number or your email dedicated, your email address or your fast line because I'm not going to respond to it because you get them because I'm telling you now, you get them on Friday. You won't get them before Friday. You get them on, on Friday. Okay? So send that back in and you all will get them on Friday. Friday you will get all that stuff done and they do it all at the same time. All right. In the meantime and in between time, you can still contact carriers and everything, you know, follow the what's called. You just have to give them your personal cell phone number if you feel comfortable with that. If not, just kind of take this week to watch the videos and go through them and study them. Watch them two or three times, I'm telling you, because you're not going to get it all in one just watch them for time. I would watch the from I would watch from 35 on down to number 20. Is what I would watch. Thirty-five to twenty, but thirty-five you should be able to catch. If you watch video number thirty-five, that last one we just did, that should catch you up on everything. That that one should really catch you up. That was a really good session. That should really catch you up on your scripts, on how to work this, on how to work the system, on the workflow, everything. All right, so make sure you watch that. One. Watch it three times. Get your pad and pencil out. Write down the questions you have already. When it answers those questions, you check it off. You got the answer to that question. This is how you're going to learn this stuff. All right? All right, so this is how you're going to learn this stuff. All right, but use that dispatch at rbbtransport.com. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, I don't want to do that. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, but that's it. That's orientation, people. That is it. Okay, um, you have everything you need. This session was recorded. You, it, you can pull it up and play it back um, um, tonight. It will be available to you all in about, uh, give, me a, give me a couple of hours. Then it will be available. Go ahead and submit your stuff to us over here, and, and we will get to getting you all, all into the chat group and into your back office stuff uh, tonight. If you send that over to us, um, I'm not going to say I'm gonna, that we're going to get it done right away because I only got a couple of of interns that are still working right now. If your mic is open, I need you to mute it right now. Uh, if you, if whoever has unmuted their mic. All right, there we go. Uh, background noise. All right, um, but go ahead and uh, get that over to us, and we'll get that back to you sometime tonight so that you all can get us those um, profiles set up and interns can get on there and get all that back to you all by Friday. Um, any questions right now on orientation? No training questions, please. Any questions on how to access the back office, how to do any of this stuff uh, like that? Um, yes, this is Bridget. Mm -hmm. I got in a little late, so how do I do the back office? Uh, <laughs> Uh, or should I just look at the pre recording? Yeah, you probably got to be, we want to have to do this all over again if you came in late. Uh, <laughs> I'll just look at the pre recording. Yeah. 
yeah, just yeah, uh, it'll be up and running here in the next couple of hours and just watch it and it'll explain everything, okay? Sorry about that. Okay. All right. All right. So if that if that's gonna do it, I appreciate all of y'all for tuning in. Um let me uh meet you all again. As I said before, I appreciate all y'all for uh, tuning in and coming in over to our platform. Um, if 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 this is the first and only platform you've ever joined, uh, consider yourself lucky. We have about 40 members within our platform now who paid anywhere from $1,200 to $5,000 and did not learn how to book any freight. They didn't. I mean, I hate to say it, but this industry is full of misleading, and that's putting it nicely. I don't want to, you know, be a, too unnice, but who are misleading individuals to thinking that what they are providing them with is going to teach them how to book freight, it's going to teach them how to make money in this industry, and that couldn't be farther from the truth. There's only one way to learn how to make money in this industry, and that is to do it, and that's what we do for you. We plug you in. We give you everything you need, uh, all your tools and resources. So we do all of this so that you are plugged in, you do this on a day-to-day -day basis, but you're not doing it by yourself. You have people who are willing to be there for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week to help you anytime you need help. Okay? So that's what this is all about. Uh, so uh, Chandra may ask Calvin, once we get access to the back office, do we just start reviewing the scripts and making calls? You can. You feel confident. I mean, when you're ready to start making calls, you feel confident. Start making calls. Follow the training on how to how to find carriers. And how to contact carriers. Remember, don't just don't start off calling shippers. Call, start off calling carriers. So if you start off calling shippers and just get loads and just start posting loads, you are operating illegally. Okay, you're not legal until you have a what dispatch agreement. All right, remember that. So uh, follow our script on how to find carriers and how to contact carriers, and um, you know, call them up. Hey, how much money do you need to move your truck? Okay, do that. Uh, so learn that script first, all right? But uh, thank you all again. I appreciate you all. This has been Orientation, uh, number 28 or 29. I can't remember which one. It will be on the uh, YouTube post, though. And I really appreciate you all, and I look forward to seeing you all in our chat group, in our platform. Uh, we got a lot of great things coming up. You all have joined us at, at, at the right time. we got a lot of great stuff coming up that we're getting ready to throw in and add to our uh, our platform, and uh, so look for that coming from us, our own load board, our own, um, you know, and 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 the industry's first and only networking interactive load board. That's what it's going to be. It's a networking interactive load board, so it's not just the load board. So uh, look for that. It's coming, and you all are going to be excited about it. I know you all are going to be very excited that you all are a part of it, and that you all played a vital role in the implementation of this type of new um, resource and tool that we're bringing to the industry. That's what we're all about. So you all join us at the right time. Thank you all again. Appreciate you all, and you all have a great night.